Boom. All right. What's going on, you guys? Royce Jacob here. And in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about this bloody Monday that we just had. Okay. So pretty much every market across the board has tanked. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen all the headlines, all the, all these headlines that the news outlets are dropping. Um, so I'm going to just show you guys a few of those just so we can, we can recap together. All right. Let's minimize myself and throw myself in the corner so you guys can see. All right. Boom, Dow plunges over 2,000 points. Oil collapses amid price war and coronavirus. So, again, all these all these big flashy titles are here for good reason, honestly. It was a bloody day in the markets, guys. It was pretty crazy. It's the craziest day I've ever seen. And, um, yeah, I'm going to talk to you just kind of about my my psyche and my mentality going into this and just kind of the way I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to approach this, Okay. It's right here, Dow Jones average, minus 2,000 points, over 2,000 points, which is 7.8%. Um, not the largest percentage change, but the largest point loss in uh, Dow Jones average history. S&P &P and came down similar, 7.6%. Uh, and then the NASDAQ is down similar. Across all boards, about, it's about that. It's just over 7.5%. 7, 7 so that's rough. Oil prices, <laughs> a completely separate market, all correlated in... Um, in the global macro environment sense, but uh, oil crashes have crashed by, or oil prices have crashed by the most since 1991. That's insane, as Saudi Arabia launches a price war. So that um, allegedly is a catalyst to what caused the markets a massive tumble today. S&P 500 falls 7%, triggering temporary stock market trading halt, which is insane. I honestly didn't even know that that could happen until today, because, um, you know, I have to imagine the last time that was that's happened was years ago. So, again, that's crazy. That's just kind of the environment we're in right now. It's a very volatile, very, very aggressive and uh, very bearish, very bearish uh, environment. Again, just all the markets across the board have done bad. Even crypto has done bad. Everything, gold, silver, what have uh, traditionally been viewed as safe haven assets are also tanking right now. So, uh, cash is cash is king at this moment in time. But um, let's go back to what I opened on, which is today's chart of the S&P 500 out of 15. These are 15 minute candles. OK, so as you can see here, this happened what last Friday uh, going into the market. You know, uh, these these gaps right here, you can see it better just today. So this morning, a full weekend of really bad news. Coronavirus just getting worse, uh, kind of as expected. So. This is not surprising in any sense. All futures over the weekend tanked. So you knew this was coming, right? And this, this gap you see right here means that everyone's selling and no one's buying. So there's no one, <laughs> nobody to fill those, uh, those sell orders up until down here when the red candle starts. So that's a very bad sign. And that is the reason the, uh, I mean, as you can see, the market tanked before the market even opened pretty much. Um, but over the course of the day, it, it was bad. It's, it's bad. So again, the, the reason I wanted to make this video specifically, not just to shine uh, gloom, like not shine gloom, but just, just spread gloom over the space is, is because I'm actually excited about this. Like this is an exciting time um, to in, invest in. A lot. Okay, I want to preface this first by saying a lot of people are going to say, oh, you're buying, you're buying all these equities like Apple, Tesla, everything at, at, uh, at discounts right now. You know, and and uh, I could be wrong. Again, these are just my opinions. I, I don't know everything by any means, but I think that's dangerous information to be spreading around. Um, equities like this coronavirus is a legit thing. We don't know how it's going to play out yet. I'm sure you, you've done your own due diligence and research on the topic, but this is a young virus and we, we don't know the full capabilities of it. And um, again, this inevitably will cause more economic economic impact than anything we've seen in recent years for sure like that's that's a fact um china shut down uh, a lot of like italy's quarantined right now america's still kind of uh, having troubles on how they're even perceiving the situation um obviously the markets have reflected it there's a shitload of fear in the markets there's blood in the streets like i said before and um yeah, again, I think this is a good time to buy 
not equities again I, I don't think that's good advice just yet we haven't seen a reversal in trend by any means is still very bearish towards like the s p and, and equities but i do think gold which i'm going to pull up right here i think gold gold looks good like this is a gold trust right here and i mean this did well over the day there was some gold mining stocks that took a hit but gold as an asset is doing all right okay so um I'm actually going to make another video uh, either later today or tomorrow about my portfolio going into this potential recession. And um, yeah, that's just going to cover why I think gold and cryptos and, and stuff uh, and what I'm investing in shorts, etc., cetera, are um, what I personally am doing as we go into what I believe will be a continued, uh, continued downtrend in traditional markets. Okay. So Again, my, my psyche right now is just I'm, I'm excited because there's so many new opportunities on the way and, and you guys should feel the same way. Um, depending on how far you are in your trading career, you could be new. I am a few years in. I've, I've been in some, some very volatile markets, so this, is, this isn't quite uh, as stressful for me as it may, may be for some of you. And um, I just, just understand, guys, like I... In prior times, I've like I was involved in the first crypto bubble. I was involved in the weed bubble. I made a lot of money, but I also lost a lot of the potential gains that I could have had. Um, so I understand I understand what it feels like to lose to lose money, and you just have to understand that it's all a learning experience. And in retrospect, in in a few years, you can look back at this time and um, really kind of appreciate the lessons it taught you. Now that uh, hopefully in a few years the bloodshed will be over but you guys really just pay attention right now to what's going on in the market see how see how emotion and psychology really affects the way the markets operate because that's so much of what these markets are like not not just traditional markets but all markets again crypto gold equity is every market um, reacts heavily when there is true panic and fear so um, again I I'm not surprised by what's just happened because I've been I've been short, uh, which means I've been betting against, and um, I, I I've had a negative bias on where equities have been for the past few months now, just because there's been so many new traders, so many new investors in the space, which is great, but though they're new faces, they don't understand completely how the market works yet, and and when you have that flood of retail investors come into the space, they're just buying what's going up, they're 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 flocking to the shiny shiny objects, shiny stocks. Um, Tesla, Apple, everything. Oh, it's going up. I'm, I must, I must have to buy it. Obviously, that's the obvious move, right? And that's what a lot of people think. And I know that because I talk to them. Some of my friends think that way, and and I was one of them. So I do understand the rationale that they think is a good, a good call to do that. But when, when too many of those retail, retail traders, retail investors, those new faces come into the space and just flood the market with new capital when something legitimately bad like this happens and causes a crack in the system, a, f a five or 10% move will cause those new faces to just dump their stock because they're gonna panic sell. And then that panic selling creates like a negative snowball and just, uh, yeah, and just makes the market continue in that downward direction. And so that's why I think personally, again, I, I could be extremely wrong. I could be completely wrong on this, but this is my take just based on the experience that I have and the research that I've done that traditional markets, uh, specifically equities are going to have, uh, have a longer way down to go just because this is a legitimate sketchy situation. We don't know what, again, we don't know the outcome. It could be bad. It could, it could breeze over and we could, uh, find a vaccine for, you know what, but, um, Again, right now, it's not looking hot. There is no obvious trend reversal. I'm staying out of uh, equities. I would honestly advise you guys to stay out of equities until there is an obvious reversal and trend to the upside. And um, yeah, again, I, you guys just, just try to not be scared right now. If you're losing money, that's just part of the game, right? You got to pay your dues. It's part of the game. Learn to Learn to appreciate it. And I know that's fucking way easier said than done right now. But again, over time, you will learn to appreciate appreciate situations like this as learning experiences right we're playing the long game here okay so just focus on the long game you, it sucks right now life sucks sometimes that's just how it goes it builds character right so 
understand that this is a learning experience just pay close attention to what the markets are doing right now and how these emotions and this panic is affecting the markets so you can use that for for future reference right it, it will pay it will pay off in the future you have to look at it like that because if you don't you're just gonna fucking lose you know you don't lose unless you quit so just don't quit stay in the game do your research um, again i'll make another video talking about uh, my portfolio going into this so kind of a breakdown of what i'm investing in what i'm shorting um during what i believe will uh, potentially be a recession okay so stay tuned for that i appreciate you guys watching and um drop a comment down below if you have any questions please feel free to hit me up i'll respond to every one of them and um i would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed it too all right so again i appreciate you guys for watching i'll talk to you soon till next time peace